Hi everyone, I'm Adam, I'm a soon-to-be DO, and today we're going over some USMLE Step 2 questions. A 54-year-old woman weighing 65 kilograms is undergoing a minor procedure. The procedure will be performed under local anesthesia with Valium sedation due to the patient's history of Graves disease and coronary artery disease. At the administration of local anesthesia, 12 cc's of 2% lidocaine is infiltrated into the incisions. Another 8 cc's is injected into the multiple lesions to be excised. During the procedure, the patient becomes agitated and begins uttering nonsensical speech. Her heart rate is 123 beats per minute and her blood pressure is 160 over 89. What is the next step? Let's go through the answer choices. A. Continue with the surgery as this reaction to pain is expected in patients who are premedicated with Valium. B. Inject an additional dose of lidocaine to ameliorate her pain. C. Immediately stop the procedure and monitor closely. Consider benzodiazepines to suppress seizures. D. Abort the procedure and provide an IV dose of propranolol. E. Abort the procedure and provide an immediate IV bolus of dantrolene. So what's this question asking about? They're trying to understand if you know what type of toxicity this patient's experiencing. Let's look at the answer choices here. A is just incorrect. Now, would someone's heart rate and blood pressure go up to a painful response? Absolutely. But if this patient is adequately anesthetized with the local infiltration, they shouldn't be feeling pain. That's not the answer here. B, we definitely wouldn't want to give more of anything. We're having a problem right now, the answer isn't going to be more. That leaves us with C, D, and E. Now, the first time I looked at this question, I jumped to E, a bolus of dantrolene. That's because you'll see dantrolene used often on board exams. Malignant hyperthermia is one of those high yield topics that you may not see often in real life, but the board exams love to test you on. That said, this patient doesn't show signs of malignant hyperthermia and they're not receiving general anesthesia, so that can't be the answer either, which means we've got it down to C and D. Now D is referencing propranolol, a beta blocker. Again, it's not getting at the source of what this patient's problem is. Now, if we go back and read the question, the patient becomes agitated and uttering nonsensical speech. This is a bit more concerning for something central, and this sounds a lot more like lidocaine toxicity. Other symptoms that these patients may have are perioral tingling, a metallic taste, tinnitus. These are all concerns for a lidocaine toxicity. What we need to do for these patients would be a lipid emulsion therapy, which is another question you absolutely might see on test day. You want to give a 20% lipid emulsion, and that will help not only cardioprotect, but reverse the drug. Additionally, in this case, to protect the patient from the risk of seizure, a benzodiazepine might be considered. So this question, while complicated, is very high yield. You get to cover concepts of malignant hyperthermia as well as lidocaine toxicity in the treatment forms. I hope this question helped you out. My name's Adam, and we'll see you in the next video.